हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माय नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड अवर सेवेंथ मॉड्यूल दैट इज पॉइंटर एंड ऑलरेडी फर्स्ट टू टॉपिक्स वी हैव कवर्ड इन दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज बेजिक्स ऑफ पॉइंटर एंड सेकेंड इज अ पॉइंटर टू पॉइंटर और वी कैन से डबल पॉइंटर and today in this video lecture we are going to start our new topic that is array and pointer so let's start when you want to use the concept of array and pointer then first of all you have to knowledge about the address and base address of our array now what do you mean by base address of array when you use the array then in single variable we can store multiple values together right so these all are the values stored at in single variable but at different different index so for these all the different uh, elements the address will be different but what is the base address base address means the address of our first element of array means here you can see in the example one integer array is available that a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so our first element is 1 and one will be stored at index a of 0 and here you can see the random address that is 1000 of a of 0 index so this is the first address of our array and it is called as a base address so when you assign the address of your array into pointer variable then in this concept always one base address will be assigned to our pointer variable now if you want to access the second element of your array using pointer then how we can access it simply you have to increment your pointer variable when you increment your pointer by 1 then it will shift at position at a of 1 means the next address is 1002 which you can access by using pointer so let's see how we can assign our address of array to pointer variable so here just to see the example integer a5 is equal to 5 elements i have initialized at compile time now one pointer is available integer asterisk p why integer because our array data type is integer so obviously our pointer data type is also integer now i want to assign the base address of our array so p is equal to a and one more thing here that m person symbol is not mandatory here p is equal to a means our base address of array is assigned to our pointer variable it is similar to p is equal to m person a of 0 both are the same both have the same meaning so when this statement will execute in our pointer variable p a base address that is 1000 will be stored and how we can write the program using the concept of array and pointer so let's see the example the definition of program is like print the array elements using the concept of array and pointer and also print the sum of given numbers so first of all you have to include your header file that is studio.h i'm starting from void main so just write the main function and when you use array you have to do any type of operation in repetition form right for five different elements so i am declaring one integer i variable for for loop and one sum is equal to zero variable because i also want to do sum of given numbers that's why now second statement is integer a5 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 5 i am using compile time initialization you can also use scanf function or run time initialization so when this statement will execute in memory one array will be stored with five elements uh, and here you can see the random address that is 1000 1002 1004 now integer take two bytes that's why our first element at 1000 and our second element at 1002 location so remember this thing also now i want to assign our base address of array to pointer so just declare one pointer p so when this pointer declare one memory location will also allocated to our pointer p that is 1020 it is a random address 
now uh, first of all assign the value of address so p is equal to a when this statement will execute 1000 address will be stored in our pointer p now how we can print the value so i'm using one for loop and for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus y zero because array index starting from zero that's why and here i am writing sum is equal to sum plus asterisk p why asterisk p because i want the value of at particular address not the address here so you have to use dereferencing symbol for printing the value so initially our sum value is zero and star p means uh, at 1000 location our value is 1 so it will take 1 so 0 plus 1 we will get answer 1 now print the value of a of 0 so print f percentage d and star p so star p means again it will print 1 in our output now i want to access the next element of array so what you have to do simply increment your pointer so i'm writing p plus plus so next pointer will be point to the a of one index element again i become plus plus so i will be one and again your sum will be executed so one plus two we will get answer three and then after print the value of a of one index so simply write asterisk p means it will dereference the value that is stored at 1002 location means 2 will be print and if i want to access the next element then again increment your pointer in this way we can print all the elements by using pointer variable now i want to print our final sum so after completion of loop just write one printf function and in this printf print the value of our sum variable so sum is equal to percentage d comma sum so we will get the output like 1 2 3 4 5 and sum is equal to 15 because 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15 so in this way we can use the concept of array and pointer now next topic is pointer to an array so what is the difference between this topic so just to see the example here here one array is available in array 5 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and one pointer variable is also available that is star ptr and in this pointer i am storing the base address of my array so here ptr store only one single address of our array by using the concept of array and pointer but I want to point the whole array using pointer then it is possible yes it is possible using this new concept that is pointer to an array we can declare a pointer that can point the whole array instead of only one element so how we can write just to see the syntax first of all you have to write data type here the data type is integer so we can write integer then after uh, in small bracket use the asterisk symbol and your pointer name and then after in square bracket you have to write the size of your array means here the size of array is 5 so we have to write 5 in our square bracket so how we can write it just to see the example data type is integer in small bracket write asterisk ptr that is our pointer and in a uh, square bracket just write the size of your array and here size of array is 5 so i'm writing 5 so what is the difference let's see with one program to clear the idea about this two topic so first of all write the main function and then after i'm taking one simple pointer that is integer star p when uh, this statement will execute one memory address allocated for our pointer p now next statement is integer uh, in bracket star ptr and square bracket size is 5 means here this is the pointer second one uh, topic pointer to an array so when this pointer will uh, declare one memory address for ptr also allocated now declare one array so i'm declaring integer a5 so when this statement will execute 
for array some memory location five different memory location will be allocated so just to see here in example i am taking only random addresses uh, that is 2050 then second is a 2052 2054 in this way last address is a 2058 now our next uh, uh task is to assign the address to our both the pointers so first of all i am assigning p is equal to a so this is the concept of array and pointer here only base address is assigned to our pointer variable so in p variable 2050 is the base address of our array a that will store now again assign the address to our ptr pointer that is second type of pointer so i am writing ptr is equal to ampersand a so again the base address is 2050 so 2050 will store in our pointer ptr so now when i print the value of p and ptr it will print 2050 2050 so i am writing one printf function and print the value of both the pointers p as well as ptr so in output you can see that p is equal to also 2050 ptr is equal to also 2050 now what is the difference when i increment both the pointer then you can see the difference so our next statement is p++ and ptr++ so when our p pointer will be increment it will go to the next address that is the position of a of 1 index and the address of a of 1 is 2052 so when we write the pointer p value after one increment it will print 2052 where when you want to print the value of your ptr pointer so the ptr pointer is point to the whole array means it will start from 2050 to 2058 it it is considered as a single address so when you increment your ptr pointer it will jump to the next location after completion of array that is 2060 so when you print the value of ptr it will print 2060 so here you can show the difference between array and pointer concept and pointer to an array concept hope guys you understand this difference very well now move to the next topic that is array to pointer now what do you mean by array to pointer array to pointer means array of pointer here we can also declare an array of our pointer variable how so just to see the syntax here first you have to write data type then after asterisk then your array name or we can say pointer name and in bracket define the size means if you want to store three different address in a single pointer then how we can write it just to see the example integer star ptr in square bracket 3 means here in ptr pointer ptr 0 index you can store one element one address at ptr1 you can store also one second address and at ptr2 you can store one another address how so let's see with example so first of all first step is include library then after write the main function and here i am declaring one pointer array to pointer or we can say array of our pointer so integer star p3 now next step is i'm declaring three different variables a b and c and i am initialize the value a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 and c is equal to 50 and one more variable i is available for loop now uh, first of all i want to assign the address of a b and c into our pointer so how we can write it first of all when this uh, a b and c will be executed one memory location will be uh, assigned to it like 2056 is for a variable 2058 for b variable and 2060 is for c variable so i am writing just p0 is equal to m person a means at p0 index address of a will be stored now second statement is p1 is equal to m person b means address of b stored at p1 index and p2 is equal to m person c means address of c stored at p2 index now i want to print the address as well as value using pointer only then how we can print it so i'm writing one for loop 
and starting from 0 to less than 3 because our index starting from 0. Now uh, write one printf statement that address is equal to percentage %u and value is equal to percentage %d and comma first percentage %u means simple p of i and when you want to print the value then use the dereferencing symbol so asterisk p of i. So initially your i value is 0. So it will print the address which is stored at p of 0 index and value which is stored at the address uh, of stored in p of 0 index. So it will print like address is equal to 2056 and value is equal to 10. When your i become increment then it will print the address stored at p1 index and the value which is stored at particular location 2058. So our second statement in output is like address is equal to 2058 and value is equal to 20. Same for uh, second index that uh, address which is stored at p2 index is 2060 and value is 50. So in this way we can use array to pointer. So hope guys you understand this lecture very well. In this lecture we have seen three different concepts. First is an array and pointer, second is a pointer to an array and third is a array to pointer. In uh, these three topics we have to use array and pointer but these all have some differences. In next video we will see some remaining topics regarding pointers. Till then take care bye bye thank you so much.